Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and we have a lot of fighting to talk about with this latest episode of Jocelyn's Cabaret, New York City. So now we finally get to see Tila versus Wet Wet and they waste no time getting to it. Wet Wet takes off her wig and then she finally gets her lick in and then Tila is over here trying to fight back. Next thing you know, Wet Wet comes out the cut with this hilarious pole spin kick Jackie Chan combo move. And so next thing you know, T-Love is on the ground fighting for her life, literally. And then to make matters even worse, this big old security guard falls on them and all you hear is a hard thud. All I know is I hope these security guards are being paid well because they be going through hell and back on these zoo shows. But anyways, Wet Wet is all hype because the floor is slippery. T-Love fell and she was able to hit her. So now she's really feeling like that bitch. So, you know, she parading around the house, acting like she did something. Meanwhile, T-Love is talking to Jocelyn, throwing up all these gang signs about how she really need to get her lick back. And Jocelyn is so hilarious. She's over here talking about, uh, you throwing up all these gang signs, but yet you just got beat up by a girl half your size. So, um, your gang really needs to drop you. And then Daisy's messy self comes outside and talks about how Egypt has been telling everyone, yeah, she's been bullying Wet Wet and talking down on her. Egypt then comes outside to clear her name up, but T-Love really doesn't want to hear any of it and she's being dismissive of Egypt and it's just like, I do not want to talk to you at all right now. You're telling people that I'm a bully. That's not the case. The girls give T-Love some space and they go back inside. But Egypt is like, hold on, Daisy. I'm not done with you. You're super messy. And you weren't even in the conversation to begin with. Egypt tells Daisy, please get your hands out of my face before I fight you. And Daisy's like, I'm doing the same thing that you're doing to me. And y'all already know how it ends. Daisy has a cut, a deep cut on her eyebrow. And her face is just bloody and nasty. And no, I'm not going to insert those pics because blood makes me queasy. That altercation escalated pretty quickly. Egypt's wig came off. Daisy's face was looking a mess. And she had to go to the hospital to probably get some stitches. And even though the girls just moved in the house a couple days ago, I do like this new friendship that I'm seeing between Egypt and Danny. Danny gives me such cool girl vibes. The girl that everyone gets along with. She's funny. She's sweet. And I especially love that deep, raspy voice that she has. But I really like that short and sweet moment of Danny and Egypt bonding. So then Jocelyn decides to practice with the girls who are going to be performing with her at the Mayweather fight. But then she starts getting into it with her choreographer, Ricardo. And I get that Jocelyn likes being a boss and not being told what to do. But if she wants to look good on stage, she has to listen to her choreographer. I mean... He's an expert in his field and I'm pretty sure he knows what he's doing. It really does take a strong-minded person to work with Jocelyn because me, I'm sorry, I couldn't do it. And once again, I hope these people are getting paid well. And by the end of the rehearsals, when the girls have everything down pat, she goes over to Ricardo and tells him, you're not the boss, I am. And he's just like, I know, I know, I'm sorry, I know. And I'm like, ooh, I... I could not work for Jocelyn. I'm sorry. I just get up and leave. Then Jocelyn decides to check up on Egypt and find out what happened between her and Daisy. Jocelyn does agree that Daisy is messy, but at the same time, she considers her one of her close homegirls. So the main piece of advice she gives Egypt is to really stay out of drama and secure her spot in the next performance. She gives her some encouraging words and then they hug it out. Jocelyn then makes her way over to T-Love and they have a little sit down and... She tries to ask her some questions about her personal life just to get a feel of what type of person she is. But really, Jocelyn is there to be messy and try and figure out what happened between her and Wet Wet. And T-Love starts listing these shallow reasons like her hair is terrible, her teeth need to be fixed, and she can't dance. And Jocelyn is co-signing everything she says, but she's still like, okay, yeah, I understand that, but at the same time, you're here to focus on yourself and to make it in the next dance. So now Jocelyn calls Daisy as she's in the hospital and she's trying to get her side of the story as well. Daisy's telling Jocelyn that she wants to get her lick back, but Jocelyn is like, please, no more drama. We need to focus on getting you in the next performance. 
And then in the next scene, we got Lucky kissing up to Jocelyn again to try and secure her spot in the cabaret. She's talking about how she hasn't been getting into arguments with other girls and she's been asking for their input. So she's proving to Jocelyn that she really wants to be there. And you know what? Jocelyn decided to open her heart up and forgive Lucky because who is she not to forgive someone? But at the same time, she's like, you better not mess up. And you better continue to work hard and prove why you deserve a spot in the cabaret. Jocelyn checks up on the last girl for the night. And yes, that is Miss Wet Wet. She's sitting on the counter talking to Jocelyn. Jocelyn asks to see Paris in London. Of course, the girls are always doing good. Wet Wet is asking for another chance to be in the dance number. But Jocelyn's like, I don't even think you know how to do the dance to begin with. And she's like, hold on, watch me. So she gets off the counter and starts doing the dance correctly. And Jocelyn is amazed because she forgot some of her moves, but Wet Wet remembered everything correctly. And the deal is, she can perform, she just has to fix her teeth. And that is where the episode ends, but as I was watching the preview for next week's episode, I noticed that Miss Natural is getting into it with my favorite, Danny and Andrea. And here I am thinking Miss Natural was going to continue to be unproblematic for the rest of the season. And remember, a couple seasons ago, everyone took note of Miss Natural's drinking problem and they called her out on it, including Jocelyn. And if you look at the screen, you can see she is holding something in her hand. But that's all I'm going to say about that. But make sure to comment, subscribe, and like, and I will see you guys in the next video.